to McKamey Animal Center's first ever adoption game coming to you from 4500 North Access Road in lovely balmy Chattanooga, Tennessee, where it's only a thousand degrees. So tonight we have one contestant because we know everybody is a little fearful of the game. So we're going to show you how this game is going to work so you can apply to participate next time. So before we get started, we're going to introduce you to the cats that are going to be part of tonight's game. The contestants are interested in adopting felines. So first we're going to introduce you to, and I have to whisper so the contestant doesn't hear me, Jordan. Here's little Jordan, featured by our adoptions administrator, Melissa. Thank you. Our next potential perfect match is sailor <laughs> brought to you by an adoptions counselor carrie and our third perfect pet is little pirate look at that face brought to you by crystal our program coordinator thank you thank you so they are going to go behind the wall so that our contestant does not see them. And again, we had the contestant fill out the application ahead of time to tell us what they're looking for. So now we're gonna invite in our contestants. And tonight we welcome Kevin and his son, Sam. Come on in. Our first ever adoption game contestants, thank you for joining us. Okay, now it is my pleasure to introduce to you our amazing MC who comes to us from the Chamber of Commerce, Miles Huff, Senior Director of Talent Initiatives. Miles, Miles, Miles! And we can't do any commercial breaks to do the back in two and two, but that's okay. We're going to just do this as it is. So, Miles, thank you for being here. Everybody at home, we've got lots of people watching. I see some board members watching too. So we're going to get started with our awesome adoption game. Awesome. Thank you, Mindy. So yes, welcome to the adoption game. A couple of important notes that you guys should know about our wonderful contestants here. They've gone through a complete application process. They've had counseling. They're very aware of all of the policies that we have here at McKamey and they've done a pre-screen. So they are ready to, to make this happen. All right. So, um, and what we've done today is our wonderful adoption staff that we have back here have narrowed down the search of adoptable animals based on input from our contestants. So we're hoping to make a perfect match tonight, right? That's what we're, that's what we're hoping for, <laughs> for their forever home. I'm, just, I'm, I'm gonna keep going with that. Okay. <laughs> um, so you two, tell us a little bit about yourselves, what made you wanna do this, where you're from, just a couple of things. Sure, well, my name's Kevin Kilgore. I live in Urua. Um, as you can tell, I'm not originally from the South. I hadn't noticed at all, um, yeah. I grew up in Maine and uh, been here for 18 years, and we recently lost our cat of 15 or 16 years, Blake Rish. Um, so the house seems very empty without a cat. Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure. Sam, what about you? Tell us a little bit about yourself. I'm a third year math major at UTK, and right now I'm in Ottawa until Saturday. So I'm, I'm really excited to meet our new family member. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for being here, for being brave enough to do this. We have plenty of amazing <laughs> animals that need really good homes with really great people like yourself. So, have you seen, you've never seen the dating game. I know how old you are. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> so, if you're not aware of how the dating game works, what we're going to do is we're going to ask our contestants a series of questions. They will each respond, and then you will make your choice based upon their responses. Make sense? Yes. And we have a couple of translators to help out with the language barrier between cat and human. Okay, so, all right, our first question. Contestant number one, if you had a superpower, what would it be and why? If I had a superpower, I would be a super baker. I can bake a billion biscuits in one minute flat. Got it, all right, awesome. Contestant number two. Well, if I was a superhero, I would have a super climber skill. I would tower and tower the Eiffel Tower. I would climb up the Empire State Building. I would climb your curtains. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully you have really high ceilings, right? Yeah. All right, and last but not least, how about contestant number three? I would jump higher than the tallest building in a single bound. 
or maybe just up onto your sofa or your countertop. <laughs> <laughs> so not as high as number two, right? Okay, all right. Next question. How would your best friend describe you? Contestant number one. Well, I could be a little shy at first. I don't take friendships lightly, lightly but once we're friends, we're friends for life. Fur life. Fur life. Fur life. Contestant number two, what about you? Well, my friends say that I could get along with anyone as long as I get to know them a little first. I'm always there for my pals. They say that I'm pretty reliable. Awesome. Reliability is great in a, in a pet, yes. And number three. I'd be the perfect friend because I can cuddle when, when necessary or be as playful as you need me to be, especially if I have a nice friend to play with. Oh, okay, okay, all right. So that leads us into another question. Do you play well with others? This is very important, right? Mm -hmm. So do you play well with others? Contestant number one. Well, I would love to try to play with others, but I haven't really made very many friends here at the mm -hmm. shelter. Buddy, I'm sorry. Contestant <laughs> number two. Yeah, I love friends. I get along with people great. Sometimes I'm a little shy warming up, but as soon as I get going, I'm great. I'm especially good when I have a little friend by my side because he gives me a little confidence to make new friends. Well, contestant number two's got friends. Awesome. And then what about you, contestant number three? Of course. As long as I make the rules. <laughs> 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 Sounds like most of the animals that That's I know usually how it works. <laughs> like, that's it, right? That's how it works. All right, we've got a couple of more questions. So, do you like to feel cozy and safe? Or do you like to run wild and free and need lots of space? Contestant number one. I like a little bit of both, but if I had to choose, I'd like to stay cozy and safe, snuggled up on a couch somewhere. Same. I feel you on a very deep level. Contestant number two. <laughs> I prefer to be cozy and safe, but I do love to run and play a little bit. Awesome. Okay. All right. Number three, how about you? I prefer to run and play as well. <laughs> Especially if I have a friend to hang out with. Okay. All right. I think that we're down to our last question. Okay. Fine. Are you guys? You guys okay? How are you feeling? Good. Okay. Good. All right. I feel good, but I'm not. I'm, I'm not doing this. So I'm, it's all right. All right. So last question. When I'm not home, what would you like for me to leave you with for comfort? So how do you like to be comforted? Contestant number one. I like warm spaces cozy blankets, and a little bit of catnip snuck somewhere. Okay, all right. Contestant number two. I also like to cuddle up on a warm blanket, but I do like to cuddle up with a friend too. Okay, all right. And then last but not least, contestant number three. Be sure to leave my bestest kitty friend at home with me so that we can cuddle and play when our people are away. I'm noticing a little bit of a theme there. All right, all right. So you've heard all of our questions. Yes. You've heard their res per perfect responses. <laughs> and so now is it's decision time. Are we, are we good? Are we feeling ready? Do you have so. any other questions? Yes. Any other questions? Yeah. We're good. And a side note, you can yeah. always choose more than one. So, I mean, just, that's just an option we're putting on the table. So, based upon that, no more questions. I saw some hand signals going on down here, so I feel like you made a decision. Or just right? a little bit. They worked it out. Okay. No. <laughs> All right. All right. I got it. They were having a secret conversation behind the table. I, I, was like, I can't believe it. <laughs> All right, so who are we choosing? What do you think? Uh, I think number three is one. Number, number three, three, come on out. That would be Pirate. Come on out, Pirate. Now, oh, okay. now, Pirate has a brother. And I think he's number two. And you are right. Would you like to see number two? Yes, we would. Yes. All right. Come on out, Sailor. One, one second. Okay. <laughs> Look at little Pirate. I don't know what this. <laughs> this is new. He's on camera. Right? Look sorry. at that sweet little baby. Oh, so everybody at home, you can see that Kevin and Sam um, chose brothers. They had put on their application that they would be interested in more than one. 
And so through the pre-screening process, we were able to figure out which kittens we had here that were related and still both available. And so they spoke as if to give signal that they were besties behind the screen. <laughs> and I'm gonna come closer. I was gonna say, cause this is perfectly adorable. <laughs> Oh my goodness. How are you doing? Kevin and Sam, how are you feeling about this match? I think it's great. Yeah. It's I think good. they seem pretty happy too. They definitely look pretty happy. You're not really wiggly. No, he's a cuddle bug. And this is so awesome because it's two for one felines because <laughs> it's clear the shelter month. Um, we are at capacity, so of course we're trying to get as many animals out as we can, those that are available for adoption to relieve stress on the animals and the staff and make room for more because we know more are coming. Yep. Well, everybody at home, thank you for tuning in to our first adoption game. I had fun. I Miles. Know. I always have a good time, especially when I'm here. Cats. We had fun. Woo. <laughs> Where's the adoptions administrator? Crying in the corner with her cat. Oh, no. oh, look at the baby. Oh, look at this it's sweet okay, baby. Buddy. Who is this? This is Jordan. And Jordan is still available for adoption. Do you want to give a shout out about Jordan real quick? Good job, Ansem. He is a little bit shy, so he's going to need a special home that can give him some patience and love. He's not your rough and tumble kitten right off the start, but once you get to know him, he's a super bud. Awesome. There's a glare, so I'm going to come back this way. <laughs> All right. Oh, well, look at this. Oh, yes. We definitely have a good match here. All right, everybody. If you're interested in participating in the adoption game, email m colon at mckamianimalcenter.com. Let me know why you think you'd be a good contestant and where you live, and we will definitely be doing this again. And have a wonderful evening, and thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Bye.